I am the ghost of Wolf, and welcome to Armoury Terrain. Yeah. Kidding aside, of course, Halloween is only three weeks away, and sometimes I like to give the kids, especially the ones that are well-dressed and, you know, under six, something besides candy. So, I'm going to show you how to make a nice little cheap ghost to give away. Now, this is a nice, easy project, especially for children to make, and you will need a piece of material. The lighter, the better. Best thing is an old curtain. You know, it's almost transparent. If you don't have access to such a thing, then some pop cotton will do, or anything else, as long as it's nice and light. You'll also need some thin elastic either in white or black. This is often known as millinery elastic. You need a rubber band. The lighter the better. White is perfect. This is a little brown, but it will do. You need a little bit of cling wrap or saran wrap. I'll show you why this is important later. A chopstick or a skewer or a little rod. Just something for the handle. And some googly eyes are an optional bit. Right, tools you're going to need for this are one pair of scissors and a needle that's big enough to put the elastic through. Right, first step is to get your piece of material and cut a circle in it. Now the easiest way I've found to cut a circle is to fold your material in half and then fold it in half again and from the point that's got all the folds just cut a semicircle in it. Now this does not have to be a perfect circle and it can be as big or as small as you like. I did leave out one very important component of this ghost and that is a polystyrene ball. Either this size or a little bit smaller. We now have a circle of material. Step one, and this is the hardest part of the whole project, is thread the needle with the elastic. Now that you've done that, tie a nice chunky knot in the end of your elastic. There's many different knots you can use, so I'm not going to suggest one over another. As long as it's nice and chunky, you can tie it any way you like. Granny knots are encouraged, just so long as it won't pull through the polystyrene ball. Because what we're going to do now is grab the polystyrene ball and stick the needle straight through it. Make sure you don't stick yourself on the other side. Okay, because my needle is a bit on the short side, and I've got quite a large polystyrene ball here, we usually use more of a golf ball size ball, but I'm using a big one today. I can't pull that needle out, so I'm going to have to grab some pliers to grab hold of the end of the needle and pull it through. Okay. The knot should catch on the bottom of the ball and not pull through. Next step is to get your cling wrap or saran wrap and put the needle through it. Pull it down the thing. Okay Wolf, so why are we putting plastic on this ghost? Okay, polystyrene is great, it's light, you know, but it dissolves. As soon as you touch with super glue or contact adhesive or any other sort of adhesive besides tacky glue, or PVA glue, it dissolves. And since I want to super glue the googly eyes on, I need to put this step on. Right, next, find the middle of your material, or thereabouts, and put the needle through it as well. Feed it down over the elastic, till you have this sort of shape. 
Now, this sort of shape has no definition at all at the moment. It's kind of sad. So what we do is we grab the material and pull it nice and tight around the ball. Then grab your rubber band and put it around the tail, keeping the rubber band as close to the polystyrene ball as possible. Okay, that gives us a bit better shape. And once you've got that shape, you can take your scissors and do one or two cuts up into it, just to help it spread out a little bit. But be careful not to cut your rubber band. Also, don't use 25 year old scissors that have been through everything. Use some new fabric scissors. <clears throat> okay, so this fluffs out much better. Now for the decision. You can either grab a black laundry marker and draw a face on it, or you can do what I'm going to do because I've wrapped it in plastic. And let's grab some super glue. I was going to use super glue to glue the eyes on, but unfortunately this super glue has hit its use by date and the only thing that's sticking together is my fingers. Therefore, I've resorted back to my tacky glue, which means I didn't actually have to wrap this in the saran wrap or cling wrap. But Hey, better safe than sorry, right? Okay, now that I've got tacky glue on my eyes, I can stick them on the ghost. And unlike the super glue, they're sticking. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Now for the black marker pen, I'm just going to draw in a mouth. Now, your ghost is almost finished. All we have to do now is decide how much hang you want. I'm going to suggest about 30 centimeters or so. But once again, this is your ghost, so as long or as short as you think you need it. Now grab your chopstick or skewer or whatever your handle is and just tie your ghost to the handle. Come on, Wolf. You know all of your knots. You're a clean scout. You can do this. For anyone that's interested, I ended up using a secured clove hitch. Not that that matters in the least. So trim off any excess elastic. And here you have a really cheap, simple, easy ghost toy that the kids can play with, you know, for a week or more after Halloween instead of just eating all the candy and chocolate quickly. And if you keep cutting into this, you can spread it out a lot more and make it more fluffy. But the size circle you cut really depends on what, what size polystyrene ball you have. But here we have it. A nice simple ghost made in real time in front of you. So this is Wolf from Armoury Train saying go out and make something. <laughs>